The reading is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 13, verses 1 to verse 5. And Jesus Christ is speaking here to the crowds that were following him. And there'd been some disasters that they would have been aware of, like we experienced disasters. And they believed at that time that if people perished in a disaster, it could possibly have been because of their sin or because they were bad people. And here we have Jesus challenging those thoughts. There were some present at that very time who told him about the Galileans whose blood Pilate had mingled with their sacrifices. And Jesus answered them and said, Do you think that these Galileans were worse sinners than all the other Galileans because they suffered in this way. No, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Or those 18 on whom the tower in Siloam fell and killed them, do you think that they were worse offenders than all the others who lived in Jerusalem? No, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. You know, this is not just applicable to those who are physically stood in front of Jesus at that moment in time, on that day, in that hour. Jesus clearly corrected them, saying, look, people die. Yes, people die because of Adam and Eve's sin from the garden, the curse on creation. But Jesus is saying to them, they are no worse sinners than you. All have sinned and fallen short of the standard of God. No one is righteous, not one. And Jesus is telling them this. He's also telling them something very important, which we don't hear that much of from preachers these days. Those who come to you with a, a nice gospel of meek and mild Jesus, who wants the best for you. He wants you to live in luxury. He wants you to have everything you ask for without telling you when we ask. It must be according to the will of God, because he is sovereign in all things, and it's his will. God works all things for the good of those who love him. His people, his sheep, the called out ones, the elect. Everything in this world happens. The tower fell on those people in Siloam for a reason. Yes, we don't fully understand that reason, but it fell on them for a reason. And the people Pilate slaughtered and mixed their blood with the sacrifices. There was a reason. And it's God's will for a purpose for his sheep. The plan of salvation. God, God's son, Jesus Christ taking on human flesh, taking upon himself the punishment for his sheep that was rightly theirs for their sin. The greatest evil of all time. God's wrath upon Jesus Christ was the greatest evil. But it has a purpose in the plan and salvation of God and his, his, his will, his justice, his righteousness. And it's for his people. We see it there. Why did he die? For his people. For those believing ones that will believe in him. And coming back to what Jesus said. Unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. Or, though, or those, and he says again. Do you think they were worse offenders than all the others who lived in Jerusalem? No, I tell you, but unless you repent, you will all likewise perish. 
This applies to you also. You need to repent. Turn away from your old ways. Repent. Confess. You've been disobedient to the laws of God. Have you stolen? Have you looked at a man or a woman in lust if you're married? Have you looked at another neighbour's property or somebody else's property and wanted it so badly? Have you stolen? Have you murdered? There are many things which we do which are against the laws of God. He has a standard and we've all broken it. The law was given to demonstrate that we're all sinners. None of us can keep the law because it's by the work, that's by works of our works to be made right with God. But that's not the way. God's plan of salvation works. It works through Jesus Christ's works. He's coming to this earth, his creation, taking on himself human flesh because he came to save his people who are human. He had to become like one of them. He had to be the perfect sacrifice to obey the full law of God, which his fellow brothers and sisters were not able to do or didn't do. But he fulfilled it. He was the perfect sacrifice. The blood of bulls and goats can't do away with sin. Had to be a perfect sacrifice. The perfect sacrifice is Jesus Christ, God in the flesh, taken on humanity 2,000 years ago, walked this earth, demonstrated who he is by what he did, what he said, went to the piece of wood, nailed to the piece of wood, spear placed in his side, blood flowed, blood and water flowed out. He died on that piece of wood. The Roman soldier confirmed he was dead. He went back to Pilate and said he's dead. We need to take the bodies off. So Pilate said, are you sure he's dead? Yeah, he's dead. And by the way, it was Pilate who said Jesus Christ was guiltless when he stood in front of him. But because of the Jewish religious leaders of the day and the plan of salvation, the works of God, that Jesus Christ had to die in that way. God says in his word. When God uses somebody or lets them. Doesn't hold back from restraining their full sin. Like he held back from restraining the full evil. Of the religious leaders of the day. When they asked for Jesus Christ to be crucified. And have a murderer released in, the, in his place. Barabbas. It was their evil that did this. What they wanted to do in their hearts. God meant it for good, but they meant it for wickedness. Just as Pharaoh meant it for evil, what he did. God meant it for good. And this is what happened. Jesus Christ died on that piece of wood, was taken down, body placed in a tomb. And on the third day, just as he said, as I will always say, whatever I, whenever I do a video, I always say, placed in the tomb and on the third day raised from the dead, because that's what happened. He appeared to many people, 500 people at one time, to show that he'd risen from the dead. He conquered sin and death. He took upon himself God's wrath for his people from the garden, because God's wrath was on every single person on this planet. From the garden, because of Adam and Eve. But Jesus Christ took the death penalty upon himself on that piece of wood for his sheep, for all the believing ones, for all those that will believe in him. So that they no longer have the wrath of God on them. But it was on Jesus Christ. They are washed clean. But he says, you need to repent. You need to turn away and follow him who created all things and look to God, look to Jesus Christ, his plan of salvation. Repent and believe in Jesus Christ. 
Confess with your mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and you will be saved. Amen.